I'm just, I'm, I'm out of the loop. I've had this, I didn't have pets. I had this fear of dogs. I know how pathetic that sounds. But uh, never tell a friend that you have an irrational fear because they never forget. <laughs> a friend of mine calls me up. He just got a dog uh, from a full grown German shepherd from the pound to use dog. And he invites me over to his house without telling me, you know, because he's funny. <laughs> and I, I tap on the door and I hear a sound I can't duplicate, something like, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it sounded like somebody was trying to start a tank. <laughs> oh. So, so whatever, there's something enormous behind that door. And he comes out and he's got his new dog by the collar, but just barely, hey. How are you doing? And, and now, now the dog is like surrounding me. He's all over and he's sniffing, I'm so tense. And at one point he sticks his head right, right under, right under here. Now, now I'm on my toes in the, in the lurch for something clever to respond with. <laughs> Jeez, are those new, new curtains there? <laughs> and he, he says this, don't act so nervous, he can smell fear. <laughs> See, I can't believe his eyes aren't watering. So finally the dog's now he's sitting three feet away staring at the new guy. And my buddy goes, just don't get up too quick. <laughs> and all I want to tell him is, hey, it's a dog. <laughs> Put him in the goddamn basement. <sighs> I mean, what other rules are there in this nut house? <laughs> oh yeah, and don't use adverbs. Yeah. <laughs> goes right for the throat. Okay, I'll just sit here quietly. Jesus, quiet-like, I mean, quiet-like. But anyway, I, I've been out of the loop, and I overcame this fear. It's a, it's a happy story, triumph over adversity. I overcame this fear by getting a dog. It changes your whole perspective. I mean, they're in your heart in days. They're right there. The only thing I didn't know was the expenses. So we had to take him in. Rules were you got to take him in for a, for a shot. To, he's supposed to have an inoculation. We bring him in. She had a different thing in mind. She wanted to give him 10,000 needles. <laughs> so that's it. I'm in her hands now. So she's got the dog there and she, she's pokey fling, pokey fling. It was like a little barn dance. There's a rhythm to it. Pokey fling, you're not the pokey. Hey, it's, but it was 20 bucks a stab. I go, <laughs> That's my rent money going to trash there. Pokey, bling, pokey, unending. Now I'm getting angry and curious at the same time. Okay, what's that one for? Uh, diphtheria. Oh, yeah. Okay, what's that one? That's for whooping cough. Jesus Christ, a dog can't whoop. Have, have you lost it? So what's that one there for? Dutch elm disease? No, no, that, that's for oh, oh, Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> hey, Lou Gehrig was a baseball player. This Nimrod can't even fetch, for God's sake. <laughs> so I didn't know this rule. In the city, you have to get your dog neutered. I felt guilty bringing him back to that woman. So she does the operation. I'm trying to leave. She's tapped me on the shoulder again. What the hell, would you used to run a Mr. Lube franchise? You, you, you can't get out of the building, what? And I said, what we hear is I committed it to memory. She says, you know, after a procedure like this, often a dog will suffer a crisis of confidence. They'll, they'll be lacking self-esteem. So for this laughable price tag, she said she would be quite happy to attach a set of prosthetic testicles. They, they call them nuticles. <laughs> so, <laughs> there was nothing in this that made any sense to me. I couldn't imagine how this is supposed to help. 
Here's my dog, apparently, at his height of insecurity, and I'm supposed to walk him back home while every other dog on the street makes fun of him. Hey, every other pooch going by, oh, those aren't real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right, clackety, clackety, yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> and, and I think we're all aware that this is not gonna fool your dog for any length of time. How long can this ruse work? Maybe an hour? Before your beloved dog jumps on the couch with you, gives you an accusatory glare, huh? <laughs> Tasties. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm getting a rubbery aftertaste. Is it me? Go! <laughs> anyway. Look, you guys have been great. Thanks for listening.